This way you will have much more chances to find your matching host family and you will avoid problems or misunderstandings once you are in the host country. What is the first thing you do when you decide to become an au pair? You create a profile on opereward.com, of course. Sometimes just creating a profile is not enough though. You need to work on it to make it attractive, like a good business card. Therefore, I would like to provide you with some tips on how to avoid mistakes our au pairs usually do when creating a profile on Opereward. First thing first, you can't make a profile in a rush. You need to take your time for it, given that it's gonna be your window on the world, literally. Also, your profile will not be approved if you do not enter information like full name, address or phone number. Without them, you will have to modify your profile over and over again until the data are correct. Of course, all these personal details will be handled according to the privacy rules, so you do not have to worry about that. Mistake number one empty profile. Most of our users originally create a profile without entering any texts or uploading any profile pictures and leave their profile empty for days. Well, that's not surely the best way to start your search for a host family. Mistake number two, over filtered profile pictures. Lots of au pairs tend to upload exaggerated profile pictures with too many filters on them or party pictures which have nothing to do with being an au pair. Such photos might be good for other social media but not for an au pairing platform as they do not actually give the idea that you would like to be committed to this program. Try to be creative, yes, but in a different way. Upload picture of yourself, uh, with kids you took care of in the past, for example, or if you do not have any, use pictures of yourself with your family. You might also have pictures uh, of yourself during volunteering activities, summer camps or similar. Use those, so show your natural self. Mistake number three, fake texts. You want to make a good impression on the host families running into your profile, and that's okay but you have no reason to lie. Always keep in mind that you are going to face those lies sooner or later. So writing in your profile text that you have a lot of experience with kids might help you find a family sooner, but it also might help you end your stay sooner when the host family finds out that you lied about your experience. So be honest. Describe yourself, your expectations, as well as your strengths and your weaknesses exactly the way they are. This way you will have much more chances to find your matching host family and you will avoid problems or misunderstandings once you are in the host country. Mistake number four, writing your profile texts in your own language. Goal of an au pair stay is getting to know another culture, a different culture, and therefore a new language, the one spoken in the host country. So writing your profile texts in your own language is not really a good first step to show that you are ready and open for this experience. As already said, your profile is like a business card for the host families running into it. If you want them to feel involved, you need to let them discover who you are by writing your profile texts in a language that the families can understand. Ideally, you could write your profile texts in the official language spoken in the host country you have chosen. If you consider yourself to have only a basic knowledge of the language, then you can write just few sentences or greetings in the intended language and write the rest of your profile texts in English, for example. On the contrary, if you feel you have advanced language skills, you can write your profile texts both in English and in the official language spoken in your future host country. Mistake number five, being too picky. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it's good to be picky. However, being too picky might end up as an obstacle to your search results. Set your search criteria the way you prefer. Do not lower your expectations, but keep in mind that you are not the only one setting both criteria and expectations. Host families have theirs too. 
So do not refuse the option of being a no pair for a host family that perfectly suits your needs just because the host kid is five and you are searching for a family with a 10 year old kid. So always try to find a compromise between your needs and the offers you get. That's the secret. Mistake number six, not using your profile at the most. There are many options that Oprah Wood offers in order to let you express yourself in your profile. However, many au pairs unfortunately ignore them. If you have some, for example, you can upload uh, certificates or references in the dedicated section of your profile. Also, you can upload a short video of introduction where you describe yourself, you introduce your family and you tell a bit more about your expectations. If you manage to avoid those six mistakes and you follow the tips we at Topperwood gave you, you will be good to go. I am 100% sure that your search and results will be improved through these adjustments. So I hope this video was useful and I wish you good luck with your search. Bye!